Good morning everybody, my name is Luke, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video we are going to be opening and giving a quick review with the new TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. As you can see, I'm just, uh, I'm just about to take it out of the box now. First thing you see is the instruction manual. Now, we all know no one ever really reads the instruction manual, but it's there for you just in case. In loads of different languages, so if you if you do speak uh, fluent in German or French, then uh, the instruction manual is there for you if you need it. So let's bring this bad boy over. This is the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. It's a TomTom Tom for truck drivers, uh, but also for drivers who drive vans or buses, any sort of large vehicle. It enables you to input your vehicle dimensions and then takes you along the best route for your vehicle. So in the box you get obviously the Tom Tom, uh, you get the uh, extra care support here and then you also get the mount, the magnetic mount, the cable and the sticky pad. So we're just going to turn on the Tom Tom now. One of the first things uh, it asked me to do upon turning on is to sign into my account which I already have. Um, it then asked me to connect to my Wi-Fi account uh, and then it asked me to do an update. So this is what an update looks like. It can update wirelessly. It's not connected to my computer at all in any way. It's doing it all via Wi-Fi. And um, the only thing you have to do is make sure you're signed into your TomTom Tom account. How long it took to actually update? It did take a while. Um, it took about 20, maybe 30 minutes to update. Um, which, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It's taken longer in the past while connected to the computer uh, on my old sat-nav. But, um, I mean, half an hour isn't at the... It's not the end of the world, is it? I mean, you just you press, you just press update, you leave it, and it does it for you. You haven't got to do anything else. You haven't got to worry about connecting it to the computer or anything like that. So it definitely gets a thumbs up for me uh, with regards to Wi-Fi uh, updating. I think that's a really cool feature, and um, I definitely will be using it all the time. Just turn it on, hit update, and there you go. Just leave it. Let it get on with it. Well, let it get on with what it's got to do, basically. So what I'm doing now is I'm just using the up and down button just to zoom in and out of the map. Um, I find that the Go Professional 6200 is very responsive, um, and it actually loads up quite fast. I'm quite impressed with how quick it actually loads up. Um, all those yellow stars are obviously places that I get loaded from, their quarries and things like that. So it's really handy to be able to see where they are and which cities and towns they're in uh, quite quickly without having to wait for the map to load up. Now all those orange things that you can see, um, which says DRV, they are petrol stations basically. Think Places that you can go with your lorry, parking spaces and uh, petrol stations. So it's quite handy. I will say, this one that I'm looking at now on the A420, I wouldn't say that was big enough for a truck, to be honest with you, but it's on there. Uh, and what I'm about to look at now, or in a second, is there's actually a truck stop in Swindon called Swindon Truck Stop. And it's located right there, where my thumb is right now. But it's not on this sat-nav. So um, it makes me wonder whether they've got any other truck stops on, on the uh, sat-nav. Because Swindon Truck Stop is not on here. But um, you've got that petrol station... Um, obviously just up the road but um, Swindon truck stop is not there now what I wanted to test next was the voice control on the sat nav I wanted to tell it to go somewhere and I wanted to see whether it would indeed go there hello Tom Tom I'm listening go to an address say an address in the British Isles ID Manor Quarry Finding a route to five and manor, Ahori. So, it's not actually taken me to where I wanted to go. And I just want to say right now that this footage is sped up. It took 1 minute and 38 seconds to find this route. Um, I sped the, the clip up 600% just so um, you can do it. Uh, so you can see it. So yeah, um, I said Isaac Manor Quarry, which is literally just up the road from where I live. You will arrive at um, your destination at 2025. But it actually took me all the way to Ireland. So um, it doesn't, by the look of it, take you to your places. You need to actually say the street address that you want to go to. 
So I thought I'd test that out next. So I'm just going to go into the menu now. I'm going to clear the route. So you just go current route and clear route. And then I thought what I'll do is I'll find a random place and a random street. Um, completely random and then say that street and see if it will take me there. So I pick Leeds. Never been to Leeds before. And I go to the city centre and I just try and find a street address in Leeds. So I pick this one here which is Portland Way. So what I do now is I will ask my TomTom -tom to take me to Portland Way in Leeds and we'll see if it works. Hello TomTom. -tom. I'm listening. Go to an address. Say an address in the British Isles. Portland Way, Leeds. Finding a route to Portland Way, Leeds. This footage is not sped up. This is 100% uh, how it was for me. So it actually found it quite fast. I was really impressed with how fast it found that address because on the TomTom -Tom Trucker 6000, it would take a lot longer than that. And I will have a side-by-side -side comparison video coming up soon just to show you how long it would take. So another thing I wanted to test was just to see how long it would uh, take to t uh, plan a route to one of my places that is already stored on my sat nav. So this place is, you know, it's not far away, but it's one of the further places I would go to. And uh, I mean, I found it relatively fast, um, which is really good. And I, I just love how how fast that this sat nav actually plans your routes. Can take ages to find an alternative route on the Trucker 6000, so I thought I'd give that a go on the Go Professional 6200, the one we have here. Now you'll see it's taking a little while to plan alternative routes, but overall, I would still say it was a lot faster than the Trucker 6000. And again, I will have a side by side comparison coming out soon, but um, I'm really impressed with this sat nav. Um, it plans routes quite fast. And it plans alternative routes quite fast as well, so it's really handy. And in this case, everything's set to default. And the purple route, or pink, whatever you want to call it, the one in the middle, pink, yeah, it's pink. <laughs> uh, it was 8 minutes and 40 seconds quicker. So, um, you know, it's just, it just goes to show that it's worth having a look. And um, to be honest, those roads were a lot nicer anyway. It gives you a view to actually see. But, um, yeah, overall, really impressed with this sat-nav. And um, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into the settings, I'm going to hit appearance, and then display, and theme colour. And you'll see that it has the exact same colours as the Trucker 6000, there's not many to pick from, um, which I don't like to be honest. I like change, and I like to have different colours um, at different times, it's just what I'm like. Um, you can change the display to small, medium, or large, I personally have it on large, because I'm blind. <laughs> Um, but it's up to you obviously which one you put that on now the POIs so you can see here that at the moment everything is on but um, you can you can turn things off so the ones I'm turning off now are things I don't need they're all bus related so I'm not dropping off anyone uh, I don't need to stop in a bus park I'm not allowed to stop in a bus park because I drive a lorry so I'm turning all these off and I'm really just leaving the, the trucking ones on so um you know, you've got heavy trucks and medium trucks, gas stations on, so I can have a look at them if I wanted to and uh, see which ones were the closest to me. Now, Tom Tom say they've got 50,000 POIs. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think that's just the UK, that's obviously going to be worldwide. But, um, you know, you're going to have a fair few POIs in just England alone, uh, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland, obviously. So, um, yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through some of the cities just to see where the POIs are. So we're looking for these orange ones, which are basically places to park your truck. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a, f there's a few on here, but it doesn't look like there's loads. Um, in Swindon alone, I know there's more than what's actually showing. The final thing I'd like to talk about in this video is the ability to connect your phone to your TomTom -tom via Bluetooth. It enables you to make and receive phone calls, but uh, also when you receive a text message, it will read it out loud. Message received. Stacy Hud, do you want to hear it? Yes. Hope you've done the washing up. 
Right, so as you can see, I better go do some washing up. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it uh, relatively informative. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos on this TomTom -tom to come in use in the lorry uh, and some side-by-side -side comparisons um, to the Trucker 6000 as well. So far, I really like the sat-nav um, and I'm giving it a thumbs up so far. So yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.